others excited uh, to do this event. Think about people, when you guys go, you refer to them every year, try to bring new students. Think about people who are the ones who bring in the students naturally. They want, they get other people excited to be around them. That's the type of personality that's going to sell in this event. And that's the type of personality you want to be the ones who are doing the majority of the discussion. Think about what makes you excited about the product when you're presenting. What is it? Uh, and I'm going to call on you guys here too. So, what is it that gets you excited about your race cars? Like, I just I love designing things, building them, building them by hand, calling scene design, design, and finish. What gets you excited about your particular latest race car? If you had one, are you a returning team member? No, we are all pretty good. So I'll ask that question to somebody else who has been on 18 previously. I know you have. What gets you excited about uh oh, I told you that I'm not going to give away our seat. Well, I guess you're going to give away. The car is thrilling. Okay. What we'll makes it thrill? It's got a high power and weight ratio. Okay. Anybody else gets you excited about this? <laughs> what gets you excited about your car? Trying it pretty much. What, what about driving? Right? I know when I was on the MSU's team, when I first first got my own little car, I I had driven go kart before and I thought I had driven some pretty fast cars. And I had actually no idea what I was doing until I did. I took off and accelerated and I went flying to a 90 degree corner and was headed like granted 50 or 60 feet out, you know, a trailer. I slammed on the brakes and moved to the round floor. And I'll never forget the feeling that you can switch right from the brake, right to accelerating like that, and throw your head back against the headrest faster than you can ever feel. And that is the type of thing that I would want to talk about if I were presenting. Get a personal emotion into it, because personal emotion from one person is most likely going to relate to personal emotion from the judges. They're going to be, they're somewhat familiar with competition. Actually, most of them are very familiar with competition. So they know exactly what you mean when you describe it. So don't, don't be afraid to get personal with your presentation because that's a big part of sales of this uh, particular event. Um, the, when we come back to organization, this is key when it comes to the post pitch question. So, after the presentation is done, you've got to be ready to answer any questions that possibly come up. And I've definitely been surprised with some questions that just have been asked before. Uh, but if you want to spend an ample amount of time while you're putting together a presentation trying to think of what the judge could ask. And in order to be prepared, the best way to do it is look at slides afterwards. So spend the time, try to anticipate the judge's questions for anything. That, that you have talked about uh, that maybe uh, dumbs down the presentation or makes it not exciting, <coughs> put that on some slides afterwards. And then when the judges say, well, oh, I only talked about lateral acceleration of the car, but you didn't talk about how many G's pull around the corner. You can say, oh, well, you know what? On um, slide 26, and your, uh, your assistant helps you sl uh, slide that slide, you've got the rest of the specs in the car. The stuff you didn't talk about. They're going to be really impressed because you put the forethought into thinking about their questions. And I realize that example is kind of a generic example. We're going to in-depth stuff, too. Really put a, a good amount of time into thinking technical, technically, uh, marketability, financially, and manufacturing was what could come up. And you will have to do nothing but apologize. It's kind of like going to design event with a thoroughly thought out design board and a design book. It said, well, you know, I couldn't fit all this on the board as a summary. By the way, here's the chart you're looking for. Same idea. Also, make sure that you've thought out with your other presenters uh, who's going to answer what type of question. I 
I found it's really helpful to have one technical person, one person related to financing, uh, and if you have three presenters, which I don't necessarily recommend, but it kind of gets kind of looted, um, you could have somebody relate to you know, marketability or one of the other topics. Just make sure that you've thought about beforehand so that you don't start talking at the same time. Um, that's going to disrupt the flow of things, and if your partner starts talking about a particular topic and you were supposed to be talking about it, let them go. Just stay there, shut up, and if it screws it up, then you can come in with a you know, a savior sort of answer. But uh, flow is very important in this sort of thing. Uh, make sure you're not just answering yes or no. The questions they're asking you are not going to be yes or no questions. You're going to be, uh, I thought about this type of question, here's the data or details to back up. Um, good, ex good examples of the uh, sample questions here. I'm not going to go through all these here, but you can take a look at them on your handouts. Design, performance, manufacturing, cost, and marketability. Make sure you cover the four topics at the minimum. And then think about ways that you can make your, your sales pitch even different. Go talk to uh, one of your major sponsors' marketing departments, or one of your Microsoft marketing departments, or maybe a company that you really admire that's close to home that you can stop away from. Go talk to them, and I guarantee you they'll, they'll take an hour of their day to run through your presentation. I'll give you tips as to what you thought and uh, as to what they think about what you're talking about and maybe ways you can improve. I know I went to, uh, we went to Ford's marketing department when, uh, when I was getting near the end of my college uh, career and we were trans transitioning into some new people. And that was one of their ideas for going to talk to these four people that I had actually went in. They absolutely loved this uh, group of marketing people. Is it, what we were talking about had to be so much in 10 minutes. And they really they took, took a look at the presentation and said, you know, you can have this point out, this point out, and this point out. And you'll get the same message across. And it will take out 30 seconds out of your presentation. So you can cut it down by going to uh, going to talk to some other people. You put a different perspective too. Maybe what you thought you were describing isn't exactly what other people are reading from, from their sections. So make sure you uh, make sure you try to pick out those sample questions and have the slide prepared to uh, That uh, the way it's run in Michigan and in California actually. Uh, previously, the presentations were all done in the suites. Uh, they're really nice. It's a more formal event. Um, make sure that you come prepared. Uh, the only thing that's provided, uh, other than electricity and a screen, uh, are, that is an area you can present, that's it. You need to bring a projector, you need to bring any electrical cords, any laptops, any external speakers, anything that you need for the event. And when you're doing this, uh, keep in mind that it is time, it's a 30 minute window, uh, it's a breakdown. 10 minutes for the presentation, and we will stop you at 10 minutes. I know in previous years, you've seen some judges that say, oh, we'll let you go over a little bit. Last year, we really started putting emphasis on trying to standardize this event as much as possible. So we're going to stop you at 10 minutes. We started trying to implement as much as we could last year. We're going to continue pushing the implement that 10 minute cutoff this year. Um, and so, you know, have a third or fourth person in the back of the room to be counting you down, maybe. Five, four, three, two, and you stop. Uh, try to make a clean cut. Question and answer period is five minutes afterwards, and then uh, while you're packing up, the judge will start to score, and it'll take the remaining period of time to uh, finish up scoring for your, your presentation. Um, the rooms are not big. Like I said, they're in suites uh, or the media rooms at uh, each of the racetracks. Uh, I would recommend two, two presenters, and a minimum of two presenters, and not more than three, because it's only 10 minutes. And if you have too many transitions, uh, it's going to get confusing and messy. But if you only have one person talking for 10 minutes, I don't think I have seen one person in the last 10 minutes and still be enthusiastic to sell it in the last 30 seconds. And you need that. So keep that in mind. You uh, try to get a couple presenters done. Um, 